This is a Pinball News production. We're here in the Highway Pinball Factory with uh, Highway Pinball CEO Andrew Highway, who's got some uh, some new toys to show us in the factory here, and also to introduce us, if you haven't already seen it, to the Alien Pinball game. Um, and I'll be butting in with questions throughout. But first of all, over to Andrew. Well, thanks a lot for um, visiting us, Martin, and uh, welcome to all Pinball News viewers again. Always a pleasure to have you. Um, we have a lot of machinery over here in the background. Part of pieces of machinery you've seen before, like our um, injection moulding machines, which are going to be online shortly. But I want to show you um, some of what's going on actually behind us here, in that we've actually um, we've created an engineering division here now at Highway Pinball, and you'll see there's two new pieces of equipment here. Um, you see this long piece of equipment over here. This is what's called a sliding head lane. And what that does is it makes things like bumper posts, um, hex post spacers, and we can make all of these in-house. Now this is, if you pan over here, this large machinery here, a nine ton piece of equipment, is what's called a mill. And what that mill will do is cut basically from any material you want. It will cut metal, it will cut nylon. So a lot of the parts that you see on full throttle or alien now, such as the flipper infills, the slider tracks, all the nylon parts are cut using this machine. But also metal parts are cut on here as well. And we can even in the future, the bed is so large, actually cut play fields on here too. So this is quite an important piece of machinery and has actually only been here for a week and has actually been commissioned a couple of days ago and will actually start from tomorrow. So this is all ready to go now. If we walk over here, you will see from the past our CNC machine, which is soon going to be cutting MDF panels, uh, which are going on to the sides of our games. This is another piece of equipment, which we've had for a while, but is actually just going to be commissioned here at, the, um, at our new factory on this coming Tuesday. And what this does is it takes the MDF panels, which are cut on the CNC machine here, and then uh, wraps them with, a, with a, uh, a surface coating, so it can be a gloss black, a gloss red, it can be a matte black, depending on the edition of the game that we do. This particular machine um, in the past has made kitchen panels, uh, the inside panels on aircraft or trains, and this now uh, is going to be making the outer panels for highway pinball games. So if you'd like to continue following me down this way, please. And previously those panels have been made by an external contractor. Absolutely, right? yes. Yeah? It, it follows our ethos that we want to be able to man manufacture as much as possible in-house because when you control the supply chain you manage to keep the cost of the materials down which means we can keep ultimately the prices of our games down but also we can control how much how many parts that we need and when we need them by so we only have our own work schedules to deal with rather than another company's schedules for example one of the problems as a manufacturer we can have is we might go back to a manufacturer and say, okay, we want another 100 sets of parts, please. And in the past, they could turn these around in maybe in two weeks. If they have other schedules and other parts are made by other companies, they might say, sure, we can do them for you, but it's going to be six to eight weeks. And that really is not, um, is not an acceptable turnaround time for a manufacturer that needs to keep sure. pinball machines running down its production line. Mm -hmm. So over here we have, where you'll see, um, we have uh, Jason who's cutting out, if we come across here, you'll see, here, yeah, these are uh, panels we've been uh, cutting, which um, are waiting to be cut out. This is the. That's these a are the plastic, plastic set. Exactly. Right. Yes, these are the uh, the platforms that go on Alien. So these have already been printed in the printer room next door here. These are about to go onto a laser cut and to be cut out, and then can be installed immediately onto the game. Jason, tell us what you're cutting here. I am cutting the kicker, kicker pin. The kicker plate. This is a kicker plate for one of our mechanisms. This is what I should have a bottom of the video. With the board right. box sitting place. And sitting place, right, before it's kicked out. Mm -hmm. ah, this is part of our new eject much. mechanism. Thank you, Jason. So if we continue to walk around here, before we start walking towards the production line. Here we have glass magazines being made up, ready to go on to games. And of course we have glass panels down there for when these are assembled as glass magazines. And more glass magazines on a pallet there waiting to be made up. Into our party tent here, we have... 
This is our printer room. As you can see, our giant uh, 8x4 flatbed CMYK printer, which gets a lot of use. Uh, we have some full throttles going out shortly, so here we have some, um, some full panels ready to, to go on. And then if we go towards the back here, here we have stock of, um, of Alien Translite panels ready to go on. We have stocks here already cut and printed of the side art panels as well. Full bottom sets. Another thing we make here is when we go to shows, we make all of our own banners, a lot of our own promotional material we can now do in house as well. And another development that you will see soon, if you've seen my, uh, my sweatshirt here, the embroidered mm -hmm. logo here, mm -hmm. uh, we will actually shortly be doing our own embroidery and yeah. doing our own line of uh, clothing products as well. Cool. Full throttle, alien pinball merchandise, baseball caps, uh, polo shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies. So we'll be doing our own line of uh, official pinball merchandise here. Awesome. As we exit the gazebo. <laughs> So over here we walk home towards the production lines. We have two full bottles here which are um, going out this weekend to a customer. As we walk down here we have more full bottles uh, on the line. I believe these ones are uh, just waiting some mechanisms. Uh, we have, we're due to have I believe another eight full bottles going out within the next three to four weeks. So we're actually shortly going to be doing um, a special offer for full throttle kits to go into alien games. It's a question that we get asked a lot, which is, okay, we're buying an alien game and we'd love to have a full throttle kit. Uh, do you have a special deal for doing that? Well, yes we do, and we shall be announcing it shortly. We have one of the last things actually about the Playfield kits um, in, to allow us to be able to ship out kits is a kit comes in its own wooden box. So you take the top off the box, the game comes out, uh, the, the artwork panels come out, the software comes out, but you can put your old game back in there as well. There's nothing worse than having an old game gathering dust or it could get damaged, sitting on the floor, uh, on its legs. So now, when you replace the game, put the old, um, the old game into the box, keep it under the pinball machine or store it in the garage, wherever you want. Well, that has uh, now been designed. That was one of the last things to be designed for the kit. Um, and we have our prototype unit next Wednesday, so in um, just under a week's time. At which point then we'll have um, production uh, boxes for the game kits in approximately three weeks' time. These are nice, or they wooden boxes? Wooden or boxes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Nicely finished and uh, absolutely. like piece of furniture. Purpose, nice and strong, durable. You can strap it up, put shrink, wheel, uh, shrink wrap on it, and then you ship them out. Right. So if we continue down here, you'll see that uh, we have various games on the alien production line. As we have at the moment, there are, um, we have. 17 games on the line at the moment. We have another 32 play fields arriving either this Friday or Monday, and then they go straight on the production line as well. As far as play fields come in, we then have another, at the beginning of April, we have another 30 to 35 alien play fields coming. We have then another 25 full throttle play fields coming in mid-April, and then by the, end of, uh, by the end of April we have another 50 alien play fields coming. So between now and the end of April we will have another 111 alien play fields and 25 full throttle play fields coming. As we continue walk down, these are pretty much finished games now. You see the platforms are on there. The only things really missing at this point now are uh, we've got the, the flipper mechanisms to go in, uh, the xenomorph head and mechanism here, and the screen there. So these are pretty much complete games now. Uh, we'll put the, the final parts on there. They'll go in into uh, quality control, then go into full testing, and then they'll get shipped out. As for shipping games, uh, we shipped one game earlier on this week. And this weekend we have another six games going out. And then early next week on Tuesday we have another one game going out. And then we have another five or six games scheduled for the end of next week. So things are starting to, to pick up now. Here we have uh, more alien play fields here ready to go onto the line. And as we walk around here, and if you careful not to... Uh, Chip up over one of the earlier alien prototype playfields here. 
what, what were the differences in this prototype playfield to, to a production one? You'll notice one? here the ramps are completely different. These uh, platforms here were very difficult to fit initially uh, because uh, there's a lot of plastic in them and because of the, the way that we go and build these up with the different layers and the different artwork layers, um, it's quite a complicated piece to build up and this was a nightmare to fit on the early prototype games but the latest version we have now is much easier. You'll also notice here the exit of the Reverso is plastic here whereas on production games it's a wireform. Mm -hmm. Here we have more alien games in a, in a similar state here. These are just waiting mainly on, again, screens, flipper mechanisms, and uh, the Zeno and the, the screen at the back. These are actually awaiting the platforms as well. The ones on the other line all have the platforms. These are awaiting them. As you can see, they're actually built. They're actually cut out. Well, you saw some already going on the laser cutter earlier there. As you see, we, they're already cut out and they're ready to go on to the games on this side of the production. Oh, if you take a look behind you there, a sneak peek, you can see Alien Pinball designer Dave Sanders doing a little bit of uh, tweakage. Tweakage. Yeah. Um, a lot of cabinets here which are already being built up um, for the next game in various stages. The ones on this side are at early stages. And this one thing actually uh, you, you can see which is a difference between our earlier full problem cabinets and the cabinets we're now making is there is this now three millimeter recess that goes all the way along. And the thing is as a bit of a pinball purist, you know, I love a lot of the, the add-ons that are available in the aftermarket, but one of the frustrating things about older games when you buy uh, these what, it's known as side blades or blades, is that they, they stick out from these, the, the inside side walls. As soon as you try to lift up the play field, it inevitably damages decals or panels. Yeah. So what we wanted to do here is by having a recessed panel, means the artwork panel actually sits level with the play field, uh, with the side of the cabinet there. So whenever you lift the play field in and out, you're never actually damaging the decal panels. And the other unique thing then we're doing here as well is that we actually have EL panels to actually light up the artwork. So we wanted there to be a much more immersive experience on Alien, and you'll see, and we can have a better look when we go down to the game in a minute, rather than having blank cabinet sides or blank backboards at the back, you now have artwork going all the way around, and better still actually illuminated artwork, which really helps to immerse you more into the universe that you're playing at, or you're playing in. So if you continue to walk down here, you'll see uh, Alien cabinets which are at a much more uh, completed level. As you can see, the, uh, all the cabinets in here along this line here are already connected up and wired in. They're just awaiting uh, back decal trans lights and screens, big screens. And these are, you, you heard me mention earlier on, we've got six games going out um, this weekend. Well, these are these four, uh, these four alien games are part of that consignment going out. We've got our, we've got our uh, house full throttle game over here, which we're continuously testing and making tweaks and improvements. And then over here, you'll see we have uh, one of our alien games. This is our house alien game, so we do a lot of testing here and tweaking. I think what will help it, though, if we can drill a hole in the centre there and push it within the back, and that will stay. So as you can see, this is basically a finished production game. It has everything on here, which is being shipped out on our production games now. One thing a lot of people ask us is how easy it is to change out the games. Well, I think as a lot of your viewers will have seen, you know, we have this YouTube video that shows just how easy it is. But I, now that the, uh, the side is off, I can just show you very easily just how, you know, you just literally just lift the artwork panel out and you can see here, it's like a sort of a mini light box area there with LEDs going all the way around. So when you're changing a game over, you're literally just getting the new artwork panel, just dropping it in and, and it's really that easy. And it's the same with the translate, it just lifts off. And then the play field just has three connectors on the back. I mean, it really couldn't be easier. If you have two people, we estimate two people together could do it in about two minutes, the complete game swap. 
uh, from a booted game to a booted game. But as we show in our YouTube video, uh, it achieved, we achieved this with one person. This was the first cut that we did, and it was 3 minutes 20 seconds. Great. Well, thank you very much indeed, Andrew, for showing us all around the factory. And uh, you'll be appearing at the Texas Pinball Festival. I'll be there, yes. And I'm sure many other shows throughout the year where you'll get a chance to play Alien Pinball and um, experience the game for yourself. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.